what's up, guys? So consider joining our locals. If you like the fact that we catch predators nationwide, it's not possible without you joining our locals. On locals, you get to see over 20 catches early, completely uncensored. You get to see live predator confrontations as they happen. And you get to support the movement that has an arrest in 43 different states and convictions in 24. We do travel the most and catch the sickest. It's only $7 a month. You get more early content than Rumble. We do big content dumps every single month on locals. And can't do this without you guys. Consider joining locals. Who's going to the kids section? Oh shit. Hey, what's up, Paul? Hey. Gordon. Hey. We're gonna talk about Emily, okay? Oh, okay. Well, let's go away from here. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Well, we're filming for safety here. Keep, keep the camera down, keep the camera down. Okay. Well, we're just going to talk, all right? Mm -hmm. If you don't mind. He's volunteered to talk to us, but I think he probably should because we got everything saved. Uh, I don't want anybody over here. I'm not trying to put you on blast, all right? Um, <clears throat> uh, safety reasons, because, yes. Because, you know, I'm a bigger guy. I understand you're kind of shorter, and, you know, I don't want you to get the wrong idea what I'm trying to do to you. Well, my name's Gordon, but... <laughs> Did he play football growing up, or? Uh, no, he's a baseball guy. Okay. Uh, clean up hitter, though? Yeah. yeah okay. My uncle, he's also a Denver detective, so. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. He, what, is your, what is your uncle a de uh, detective in? Um, he's in Denver. Yeah, yeah, but like, what does he do? He does, like, crimes and stuff like that. Well, okay. People break into houses. Oh, okay, so like that kind of stuff? Cool. So my biggest question is, uh, I saw Emily on FaceTime. Sure. And it looked like she was real. Right. So was that just the, you guys do this together? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I'll be honest. I mean, you seem to be honest, right? I'll be honest with you, yeah. Yeah, this is not like me. Okay. I mean, I've seen and I've seen all that. Sure, sure. Where are we going? Oh, uh, we can just kind of, well, I just don't, I just want to go to a place where people won't hear, so you want to just go like right here? Okay. <clears throat> I wouldn't say this is Nope. No, okay. But, you know, obviously we have everything saved, so yeah. that's why we just want to talk to you, okay? Alright. Because, I mean, who was the girl on the FaceTime that I FaceTime with then? Well, that's a real person. That's a real person? Yeah. Is she like 18? Is she 18? Yeah, the girl that I was FaceTiming with. She's not necessarily 18. Okay, she didn't look like she was younger either. You know, she didn't look like she was 11, so. Okay. So anyway, uh -huh. so that's what she told you, she was 11? Yeah, she said she was 11. Okay, got it. So. Mm -hmm. Wait, and if anybody passes us or says what's going on, I'll completely change the subject. Okay, yeah. I got you, yeah. Thanks. So you're an actor, right? Yeah, an actor. I go to Red Rocks and I graduated in 2021, so. What kind of, I mean, do you just do any type of acting? Um, pretty much, yeah. I just like behind the scenes, too. I like doing, like, you know, building sets and doing sound and lights and stuff like that. Awesome. What's your, what's your, what's the best role you've ever played? Mm, well, I don't know. I was in The Wizard of Oz, so. <laughs> oh, so you do, like, play, play acting. Yeah, play, okay. like, on stage and live play. Awesome. What did you play in The Wizard of Oz? Um, I was just a townsfolk. So I was like one of the munchkins kind of kind of thing. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So, uh, you seem like a pretty progressive guy. I mean, yeah, you got I'm the... Yeah, pretty cool. I mean, I was just like, you know, I felt like, you know, I feel like this is either going to be a thing set up or it's going to be a real thing, you know? Right. But, that's... but I didn't even think she was in Denver because her zip code or area code was 611 and that threw me off. And I was like, well, how come you don't have a 720 or a 303 area? Sure, sure. And she's like, oh, my aunt sent me the phone. So I just took her word for it. Okay. <laughs> so, um... So, you got a you're you're big on the trans rights. Yeah, I know awesome. I rights because my uncle's a detective. So <laughs> awesome, cool, cool. Yeah. I mean, you got the trans flag in your bio and stuff oh, like yeah. that. Oh yeah, I have a lot of trans friends and nice. I love the trans community and awesome. I also love the gay community. So. Oh, yeah, I love them too. Yeah, so <laughs> love them too. So, yeah. 
and pull it out of him. That's... I can tell you the truth, I don't have that many friends, so I was like trying to make friends and trying to make a circle of friends. And Okay, and Emily was just one of them? or Yeah, Emily's just one of them. I was going to, you know, just hang out and see what she wanted to do, go to Target or whatever, you know, I don't okay. know. Okay, so we're, we're, I mean, y'all seem to have a pretty big day plan today. Well, that's what she said, you know, I just take her word for it, and I was just like, yeah. well, I didn't know who was going to meet me here. When I didn't see her in there, I figured something was up. Okay, so where are y'all supposed to go today? Like Target well, or anywhere else? Target, and then she said, oh, I was going to go back to my house, and then I was like, well, because she said her mom was gone for a couple of days, and then we could be alone finally okay and i was like well i don't know about that <laughs> so, did you say i don't know about that or yeah, did you, did you so say we're going to go to your house i might have said we're going to go to your house okay like that, so. got it got it i mean you seem willing to be honest yeah what, what was supposed to happen at her house i don't know whatever she wanted to do you know? okay so you're going to leave it up to her pretty yeah, much pretty much leave it up to her okay that's fair and then she had asked if we were going to do any stuff and i was like well i don't know i mean you're underage you know so i was like well, well see what happens. did you say i don't know I mean, or did you have all my texts <laughs> yeah did you say i don't know or did you say yes uh, I said sure. Yeah, I said yes. Okay. So, so whose decision was that going to be? That was going to be up to her, yeah. Okay. Because so I was like, you know, I know that minors can't make those kind of decisions. Okay. So, so you, you would have only done the stuff if she was okay with it, pretty if much? she was okay, yes. Okay, well, I appreciate that. Yeah, because I'm not that kind of a person. Okay. Be, you know, like... Anybody, I don't right, have any right. So it would have just been consensual stuff. Yeah, okay. Consensual. All right. Well, that, that's what I'm trying to. Okay. Because yeah, that gives me a peace of mind, of okay. course. Because I, you know. Uh, are you guys with like some agency or? Oh uh, no, we're private. But um, you know, we so, we're with a group called Kid Protectors USA. So you guys saw me on Facebook, and you were like, "Oh, we're gonna like follow this guy and see what he's up to." Is that what is that what happened? Yeah, because she friended me. I okay. I never even knew Emily at all. Sure, sure. And she sent me a friend request, and she was like, "I live in Denver," and I was like, "Well, did you, how did you find me?" I asked well, her. well, who messaged first? She did. She did. And I asked her. Um, well, I had asked her. I said. Well, did, did she well, friend you first? Did you, okay, you messaged her first. Oh, oh, okay, okay, that makes she more sense. Request me like one morning. I woke up. Sure. I saw her uh, face, and I was like, "Well, she seems young, but I'll just be friends with her on Facebook." Of course. Like everybody says, and then I right. did that, and then it was like, "Well, uh, what's going on?" You know. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, then I saw you guys. And uh, so I said, well, something's up. <laughs> got it, got it. Yeah, well, I, you know, obviously there's there's levels. And I'm, I'm just, I mean, I have a big peace of mind that you said everything was going to oh, be yeah, consensual. Yeah. So what, what what was the consensual stuff that was kind of left up to her? Um, this, she just said, well, um, what are we going to do? And I said, well, whatever you like to do. And she okay. was like, what did y'all talk about doing? She said, um, well, I told her, I said, what do you like to do? She said she likes Paw Patrol, you know, she likes Dora. Okay. Well, obviously we were talking about consensual stuff here like what we were hey okay. man we're, we're not we're not mad or here to judge right, you just yeah. but you know it has not to, under arrest or anything no no but but let's just let's just have a talk man all right okay. so what was some of the consensual sex stuff um, she just said oh well she goes well we could be i could be in my bra and underwear and i said okay you know. okay was there anything else talked about no, and i said well who, who do you stay with because i saw some guy on her couch and then she was like that was my grandpa and i was like he didn't look like a grandpa to me sure he looked like an older guy you know and i was like well are you being because I, I mean, I'm concerned about her too. Right, know? right. Because you don't want anything forced on her. Right, it seems like. I don't like. want her to be kid or anything like that. So, right. Um, so, so, what were the other stuff talking about besides her brown panties? Um, pretty much, as she said, oh, do we want to do? She goes, I, I had asked her, I said, have you ever kissed before? And she said, no. And then I said, well, I can show you how to kiss. And okay. Said, okay. Was there anything else talked about? Uh, if it's on there, it's on there. I'm not real sure. Okay. Did <laughs> y'all talk <laughs> about like, you know, thing and stuff like that? It might have been some some of like that. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So would you have forced that or left that up to her? I left that up to her okay. completely. Okay. So you would have only her today if she was cool with it or something? If she was cool with it, she said, yeah, we could do that. So. Okay. Well, I had asked her, I said, um, do you not want to do that? And she said, oh, well, it's up to you. And she okay. said, oh, yeah, I kind of like to do that. So she's like, okay. okay. So it would have been a mutual decision. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. I was wondering if I could like maybe like join your guys' program because that would be like to do. Like, yeah. Cause it, do. Right. Absolutely. I mean, you're, I think you're a good actor, so you could maybe be a decoy or something or. Yeah, I could definitely do that. I mean, maybe from behind, you could yeah, be a decoy. From, yeah, from, yeah, when you turn around and see like, holy shit, yeah, it's like a bridge troll. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Absolutely. So, I mean, you know, but obviously we want we want to make sure yeah, that yeah, but we want to make sure you're on the right track too. I mean, when 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 did this kind of stuff start? Kind of start for you, man? Yeah, uh, probably like a couple of weeks ago. Because then she started asking questions, and then I mm -hmm. kind of like bring up something, and she goes, "I don't know how to do that." He he he. And she always <laughs> used to use her text as he he he. All right, right. Drop your paper. Yeah, that's fine. And then uh, then she just said, uh, um, "I don't know how to do this or do that," and I kind of went into detail. So I didn't go into detail. I just said. I can go ahead and um, we could explore. Okay, what were you all talking about exploring? Uh, she just said, oh, like, but what would you want to do when you come over to my house? And I said, well, I probably just want to be, and she goes, they could be in brawn panties and stuff like that. And okay. sit and watch TV or whatever, you know? And I said, would you be on my lap? And she said, probably, so. Okay. So what other stuff did you all talk about besides and, and, That's it, okay. pretty much. I don't I mean whatever you have on the paper. Mm -hmm. So I can't remember. I have a short-term memory, so I sure. don't remember all my stuff. Hey, I'm kind of itchy. Can you scratch my back right here, please? Back. Yeah, this is a back shoulder, back shoulder blade. Just down
Just a little bit up. It's kind of where the shoulder blade is. Oh, yeah. yeah absolutely. Thank you so much. Um, appreciate that, dude. Seriously. Um, okay. So, did, did you guys discuss her kind of you? No, not at all. Not I at all. Just to do everything to her. Just do everything to her? Okay. Yeah, I was like, I wasn't even thinking about her or nothing. Okay. Did you, did you talk about, like, her too? Mm-mm. No? no? It might have. It might be on the paper. Okay. So, so what, what did you kind of talk about? I did, though. Okay. okay. So, I mean, I'm not talking about this stuff with Emily. I mean, when did this kind of online stuff start for you, like, with, um, with this type of stuff? Because, yeah. I mean, obviously, Emily isn't the first. Yeah. So, no, just the uh, other kids just messaged me, too. You know, they messaged me, but none of them say they're from Denver, Colorado. Okay. She's so, the first one that said she is from Denver, Colorado. Got it. So, so I felt like that was too good to be true, too. <laughs> okay. So, too good to be true. Okay. Sometimes, because, you know, okay. you hear all kinds of stuff, and then you're like, oh, I doubt it. You know, I mean, sure. I've even had women, trans women, say, oh, they're going to meet me, and they're not here in Denver. Right. From somewhere else. Sure. So, um, so when do these kids start messaging you on Facebook? I don't know. It's been about a month, maybe, since July. Other kids, too? Uh, yeah, but they're from other places, I think, so. Okay. Uh, wh what's their average age, You would you think? I don't know. And, you know, I think they're people that are just using kids' pictures and then it's putting them on Facebook. Well, maybe so, but how old are they saying they are? And they're saying, like, they're 10, 11, 12, sometimes since okay. the same age as Emily. Sure. And how many of those people are messaging you, do you think? Messaging me, um, let's say, about four or five a okay. day. Okay. Four or five a day? Yeah, like I got a couple yesterday that were like these young kids, they're saying they're young boys. Oh gosh. And then I was like, really? And then they were like, they're just messaging me and they have like that word Sanskrit kind of like from another country. Mm. So I can't even read their writing. Okay. It's like that scribble writing, scan script, I call it. Sure. From Egypt or wherever. Sure. So do you kind of, um, you know, no judgment. I mean, it's 2023, we're in Denver. Do you kind of go both ways? Like, yeah, I'm pretty by. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So has it been like kind of. <laughs> He's doing Okay. Good. Straight, okay. Gay. Straight gay. Straight gay. I'm straight gay straight. Gay. Yeah. <laughs> so has it? So I mean, so it's basically like you know, yeah, kid pretty, boys, kid girls messaging you. Or? Uh, yeah, pretty much messaging me. Got and it. And I feel like sometimes you know I should do the right thing and block them or not okay. even accept their friend request. But I feel like with 2023, you'd be friends with whoever, and they're not going to uh, right. hook up because they're from from somewhere else. Right. Right. I mean, has the conversation kind of maybe gotten a little bit escalated with them too? Um, I think so too, and I was feeling like you know, well, we'll see what happens. If I meet her today, we'll have a chill day today. Sure. And if not, then it's not. So. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, I'm talking about like if, like the boys and the girls, the other boys and girls. So this conversation kind of get a little. No, they don't escalated. talk. They don't talk they, as they much as Emily. They don't talk as much as Emily. Yeah, they okay. just very quiet. And they like to post a lot of, uh, I would say, inappropriate pictures on Facebook. Oh God, what do they post? Yeah, they post them like in their underwear. What? So, yeah. A ten year old? Yeah. What the? F they're probably me. I think they are. Sure. I mean, so. Do you like compliment them, like call them cute or flirt with them a little bit? I probably flirt with them because I don't think they're the real boys. I think they're these guys that are behind the camera. Sure, know? sure. And uh, they're probably from India or from Ethiopia or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. So. Got it. Got it. So I mean, I mean, oh, yeah. but it's still, uh, and you know, I, I know you're a good dude, but it's still, it's still kind of, yeah. you know, under age stuff i mean right, yeah. so, so when did when did those kind of pictures start getting displayed to you online because uh, it couldn't have been a month i mean no, that, that's it was july i've been on facebook since uh june i think since so june june july now i have almost uh, 600 people that have messaged me and they're all scammers i think all scammers. they're all women that are saying oh i'm in denver everybody's always from denver right away and i'm like yeah when is anybody in denver well denver's a pretty big city but <laughs> true but you know what i mean these women i think are not yeah of course of so. course mm -hmm. so i know but i mean like so you so you think in june like these kind of younger photos kind of started that popping up or the end of july beginning of august the younger photos are yeah. popping up? Okay, yeah. got it. So I was like, I might just start blocking people and stuff like that because I was like, I don't think these are legit and I don't want to get busted. So. so you haven't had Facebook before June? Uh, yeah, I haven't been on Facebook since, geez, uh, 2019 probably. Okay, so, yeah. so is that stuff kind of happening in 2019? No, not at no, all. No, not so at I was all. just mostly friends with people I knew. How do you think it started popping up now? I don't know. I think it's just anybody can message anybody and you can be friends with friends and then those people can message you. Okay. So I think Emily was a friend of somebody that I knew. Okay. And then she probably found me. I asked her that. I said, how did you find me? Right. And she says, oh, I found you through a friend of mine. So okay. that's how a lot of these people are acting on Facebook. Oh, I found you through a friend. Or right, a right, right, right. Okay. So uh, not under arrest or anything like that? No, no, no. We're, we're just talking to you, man. Um, so and we're not making you be here but yeah, i think so I can leave at any time absolutely but i but i think it's important to talk about because we do have everything saved so um send a picture here um so i think you have a telegram account when did you i canceled that one because i got off the telegram so when did you get telegram geez that was like this year but i got off of it because it was 
bunch of crap down there anyways. Yeah, tele Telegram's too far, I think. Yeah, I think they go really too far compared to what Facebook does. All right, because Facebook's kind of, I mean, I'm not saying Facebook is appropriate, but right. but tele Telegram is straight up like, holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> So, so you guys are based here in Colorado? Uh, or you have all well, there's nothing based about Denver, but um, we're we're uh, we're from Colorado. We're in Weld County. Yeah, we're in Firestone. Oh, Firestone. Firestone yeah. No, my name is Gordon, and that's Tommy, and that's Fellows right okay, there. Guys. Yeah. Um, we're they're they're overcoming drug addiction. Ah, and, okay. uh, that's yeah. fine. Everybody has something. Everybody has a vice, exactly. That's why we're not coming at you hard. We're coming at you like we're all yeah. we'll make mistakes. Mm -hmm. And you know, I have a I mean, I myself have a domestic violence charge. Okay. Um, you have a drinking problem. Yeah. White claws, to be okay. specific. Right, and that was our high school logo too, oh, the white claws. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, okay. So, so is Emily actually real or not real? I just had that question. Because is she a, not a real girl that's eleven, or is she a person that's eighteen, twenty-one, looking like eleven? Well, I'll be completely honest with you because you're so honest with us. Um, so the pictures we use on her Facebook are obviously young. Yeah, and then the Emily that I Facetime is her older. Is her older? Yes. Okay. Yeah, but since you're so open with us, I'll be open with you, bro. Straight up. Um, Okay, so t Telegram, the stuff too far. What 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 stuff is kind of too far? People sending me stuff like that, and okay. I said I'm done with that. You know, I got off the Telegram and all that. Do you think the n were over 18 or under 18? I have no idea. Some okay. were over, and some were probably under. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, probably under or absolutely under? Uh, probably under, because I think there was like some under and then some over. Right, it's 18. it's a combo. It's a combo. Are these like in groups or individual chats? Individual chats. Individual, individual chats. chats. And then eventually Telegram just said I went against their community, so they also deleted me off of there a couple of times. And then when I got back on doing their thing that they asked you to do, um, I went ahead and just went ahead and deleted the whole account. When did you delete it? Um, back in June. Okay. When do they? Uh, what do they delete you for? Um, they were just saying that people are sending me inappropriate things, and it was going against their community. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna let you know. I kind of know the Telegram guidelines. Telegram doesn't classify over 18 as inappropriate. Oh, okay. Yeah. What did they say? Something like Emily said, "Oh, you, I can't be on Telegram because I'm not 18 yet." Something right. like that. So, so um, how uh, how old do you think the pictures were that they were kind of sending you on Jeez. Telegram? I, I know I know it's a lot of adults, but let's talk about the not adults. Okay, uh, the not adults were some trans girls. You know, they were trans. Underage trans girls. Yeah, no, I think they were over they were eighteen. They okay. Were like twenty one, twenty two. Okay, what about the ones that were under? Under, uh, probably like maybe in their teens. Teens, yeah. like was this boys or girls or um, trans or? Mostly girls. And girls. Some that were some boys. Okay, so, and what would you say their ages were like? Like I don't know between uh, mid teens, like, like 14, 16. 15, 16, Okay, mm -hmm. were they um, obviously? Um, they were showing some pretty like skimpy clothing. They okay. had clothing on, but it's very skimpy. Okay, how many were? Uh, maybe one. And maybe one. Yeah, and then I was like, okay, I said I'm getting tired of Telegram because I was on it before, and uh -huh. Telegram was fun. And you could do things and do videos, and right. it was not just all about that crap. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Absolutely. So when did it kind of turn into that crap for you? Uh, this year. This year? Yeah, okay. this year is a lot different. There's a lot of stuff on internet and social media. And mm -hmm. to tell you the truth, I'm probably going to be leaving Facebook here shortly because it's just like, there's so much shit. And if i not, I'll just be friends with people I know from now on. <laughs> right, yeah. And I mean, you shouldn't shut out your whole outside world, but yeah. I mean, you should pick and choose, of course. Yeah. yeah um, are, are you sure it was, are, are you sure it was skimpy? Because I don't think Telegram would be taking in. And I think those people got deleted, to tell you the truth. Because okay. if they do show you, they usually okay. delete you right Okay, so did they show you? No, that one did. Um, okay. The other ones did not. I said they were pretty skimpy. That that one did. Okay. That so who is that one guy? I don't know. He was. Uh, let's see. Even guys would show me their and stuff. So sure. I was just like you know. Well, what would he send you? Uh, his, his stuff like that. Right. Uh, right. But, like, but but I mean, like, how old were the? He was sending you. Uh, of, uh... He was old enough. He was probably in his thirties, probably. Right, but you you said there was a nude of somebody oh, under eighteen. So how old was that guy? Or was it a girl or a guy? This is a guy, fifteen maybe. Fifteen. Okay. Like his, uh, was this like a picture or video? It was videos. Vi vi oh, send, videos. No, not videos. Sorry, pictures. Yeah, pictures. A lot of them were just pictures, and then you could delete them or not delete them. Sure. Either. What was happening in the pictures? Uh, not much. It was just like uh, he was just showing his front. You know. Just him. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. How many pictures do you think were sent one. with that? One. Mm -hmm. You should. Well, you said pictures. Well, I mean, it has to... pictures were other people too sending me stuff. Okay. So they were all sending that. Yeah, they were all sending that. And I'm just okay. like, what the heck's going on with tele Instagram and Telegram and yeah. everybody? Even Snapchat is crazy. Right. Things. Right. And these aren't any of your pictures that you're sure taking, yeah, right? These are these are other people yeah, sending I it. Okay. All right. All right. I never sent anything to Emily either. Good. So. Good. Yeah. No. And that, that stuff would get you in jail. Right. And that's why I, I want to just talk to you because I think you're not like them. Yeah. You know. So. I always made sure to be that she would say if I said you're not showing yourself to these right, guys, right. 
she said no, and I said you're not, uh, you know, FaceTiming or bringing guys over to the house. You know, right, right, work. right. So I don't do that. <laughs> right. Well, so I mean, do you have kids of your own? Um, no, I have nieces and nephews. Okay. Well, you, you don't want them being no, hurt. Okay. One seventeen, one twenty-two. So I was like, I don't want that happening to them. Right. So, so let's. Um, I mean, that's my uncle, the detective. So you know, that's right, his kids, right, kids. sure. So, so look, man, none of us are uh, here to judge you or police or anything like that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah, we're not. None, none of us are here to judge you, but like, you know, obviously, I think. I mean, you said you want to join the team. Yeah, you you said you have nieces. We, we do. It's okay. in the car, though. Okay. And you, you said all of this, but um, if we really uh, cause, look, Paul, mm -hmm. I don't consider you a bad person. <laughs> I want to hop over you, which isn't hard. You're short, but I want to. I want to. I want to hop over you. Physically. Metaphorically speaking. Yes, metaphorically. I want to hop over you and get the real bad guys okay. on these Telegram. Yeah. But, you know, you got to let me know what I they're actually... There's another guy named Robert on there who we should look at. What did, um, he, what did he, he send you? He looks like he's handicapped because even Emily texted me. He looks handicapped, he said. Um, I don't know what state he's friend. No, but he's on his first Facebook page. He's on the bed. He's in his red underwear. Oh, yeah. And he's kind of posing. Have you seen him? Sure, yeah. Yeah, and I told her, don't ever FaceTime him. Don't ever, um, you know, engage with him. Because right. He could be kind of, you know, creepy. Right. Well, yeah. well, let, let's, let's, well, I mean, let's I let, let. showed her how to block him. I said, this right. is how you block somebody. And I did step by step on how to block him. Right. And well, she, said, she didn't know how. <laughs> well, let's, let's focus on Telegram first. I mean, I, I know. Get in the shade and burning up in the Dude, sun. hell yeah. Absolutely. I don't know about you, but I'm burning up. <laughs> well, you're, you're the one that wore a red shirt. Right. <laughs> well, I guess I'm wearing black, so, I mean. There we go. That's a lot better. Okay. So, I mean, basically, you know, on, on, on Telegram, I know these people on Telegram, they don't have any limits with what they send. I know maybe your limit was looking at 15, 16, because you, you looked at it, I'm not going to, I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat that. Yeah. But what were they sending you that was younger than 15, 16? Uh, you mean the pictures that I was getting? Yeah. I don't get them. I just see them on their um, stories. So like on the Telegram story, stories? Yeah, Telegram stories and, and Facebook stories. They send them, you know, and you see them. Well, Telegram stories. So is that like in a channel or something? Uh, yeah, you just hit, it's just like Facebook. It's a circle and you uh -huh. tap it and uh, they show their stories and they can put whatever they want on it. How young were the people in the stories? Uh, probably 16, 17, probably like that. Well, I mean, I, Paul, I mean, I... I Maybe I, younger than that. Okay, I, I know I know on Telegram there's yeah. bits of young shit sent yeah, your way, okay? okay? Because, I mean, you, have you been in any Telegram groups? Uh, no. No. I have not been even in a chat group on Facebook, so. Not okay. Since 2019, so. Got it, got it, okay. I kind of stay out of groups and all that keyboard mafia shit. So. Right. But you know, these traders are terrible people. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you know what a trader is. Yep, I know what they do. Okay. And I know what they say. Okay. Yeah. Right. So let's 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 be on the same page what what how young are they actually sending you like or if they're sending you any 13 14 i know they are about 12 13 yeah. 12 13 yeah. okay and there are these like a, people from wherever i said india right right it's the foreigners doing this yeah, it's they, not you right. okay like here let me let me just rephrase this don't feel don't feel you need to don't feel you need to protect those people sending you stuff okay right. because right now i'm giving you a chance to kind of separate from them right. because Look, should you be in those chats? No, I'm not, mm -hmm. no. But, but is it the end of the world? No, it's not. Mm -hmm. For them, it should be. But, yeah. you know, if, if we're not going to be completely honest about what they're sending, right. I'm, all, all we're going to do is just bunch you in with it, and we don't right. want to do that. So, yeah. like, 12, 13, are these boys or girls? Mm, they're both boys Both? And girls. Okay. Are these pictures, videos, or both? Both pictures. Just pictures. I have not pictures. gotten any videos. Okay. Right. And what's happening in these pictures? Um, they're just like basically um, in their underwear, um, okay. thongs. All right. Well, like what else? Um, I never seen any of them in there. So. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, Paul. Mm -hmm. We saw you were on Telegram today. Mm -hmm. You best start telling the truth. On Telegram. Mm -hmm. You best start telling the truth about what they're sending you. Uh, they're sending videos and stuff like that. Yeah. Videos. Are mm -hmm. these like videos? Somewhat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of like 12, 13 year olds. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Mm -hmm. So. That was, I mean, that was her horn. So. Okay, mm -hmm. got it. So, look, so these are like 12, 13 year olds in these videos? Yeah, so okay. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete a lot of, not the Facebook, but okay. I'll probably delete the Telegram and the and, and Snapchat I already deleted. I already deleted Good. Um, that stuff, so. Okay. I just wanna be friends with people I know on Facebook. Did you change any Telegram settings ever? Um, yeah, I change them every now and then because I know how to do them pretty much everything on social media. What do you change? Just the, the sit background setting. I know how to change the background setting okay. and some stuff like that. Got it, got it. Um, okay, is there anything on your phone you need to get rid of? Nope, so I'm good there. Good, good, good. Okay, so 12, 13. Yeah. So obviously, look, look, yeah. I'm not saying, look, you say this because I, I think that's probably your absolute limit. Yeah. But 
I'm just saying they don't have a limit. I want to know their limits, man. Yeah. I'm not asking this to you for you. I'm asking this for the, for them. Yeah, so we want to protect them. Right. And we want to get these guys right. Right. But so, so, so many of them. How are we going to get all of them all over the country? All we can make it do. All we can do is a small difference, right? Yeah. Well, so, all over the world. Yeah. Right. So, I've seen the sounds of freedom, so I know Good. what they're doing. So. Absolutely. And you know, the the lead actor also actually had to sit and watch child in order for him to understand what's going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, look, so. look, man, you can be, you, you can really have, I mean, this is, you are my eyes with these people. Yeah. Okay. Like you said, I can be the guy behind the scenes right. talking to these guys. The help starts now. The help yeah. starts, the helping us starts now. So what, bes I mean, no. I know there's been younger than 12. I, I know it's probably gone down to super young that you've had to see. Yeah. So Not that you've asked for. Shit. Okay. What's the pretty crazy shit you've seen? Mm, probably like teenager and maybe younger than teen. Okay. Wh how, what's younger than teen? I don't know. Jeez. 10, maybe, 10. Okay. Yeah. Are these boys and girls again? Both boys and girls, yeah. Videos? Videos and stuff okay. like that. And I'm just okay. like, you know, I just wish people could put a stop to it. Right. I know. I know. I'm sorry you had to see all that, man. Yeah. When, when's, when's the last time a video was sent to you with that type Jeez. of stuff? I'd say probably the end of July. End of July? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Yeah. And the, who, who, do you know who sent it to you? No, I don't because I can never. Well, they have different names and they use like. Um, this one Indian guy sent me one, his name is something dog, and I don't know, oh yeah, he says Roger Moore is his name, mm -hmm. and then he uses something like Rude Dog or something like that. Okay. I don't know, because he's just like, he's from India. Okay. And he said that he had to with a young boy that he Oh, knew, man. So. Who sent you this video of the 10, 11 year old? Uh, was that him or somebody else? No, this, this other guy from, I think he's from Australia. Okay. This other guy. What was happening in that video? He's just, like I said, un with the minors and stuff like that, so. Okay. Well, how long was the video? Um, not very long, maybe. 10 30 seconds and not 10 30 seconds all right so what you know if we're gonna find out what's going on with these kids we have to be specific what's yeah. happening in these 30 seconds like um, what's what's second one to second having they're having these okay people and i don't think it's consensual at all and i don't think they want to be there did the boy look like he was in pain uh pretty much and then it just looked like he wasn't having a good time so okay <laughs> and he looked about what 10 yeah about 10 or something okay like that, yeah. So I, I know, look, I mean, yeah, I, I do have a guy that's on Facebook uh -huh. with me now and he is, says he's in the UK right now. Sure. And um, maybe we could catch him. What does he send you? Um, he just says that he likes both young girls and boys. So. Okay. And he talks to you about that? Yeah, he talks to me about that. And okay. I'm just like, well, you know, I didn't know who to reach out to, who to talk to about this. I didn't want right. to get the police because I didn't want to get in trouble with that. Sure. Um, so, yeah. Has he sent you anything? Uh, no, I thought to check in and see what he sent me. And if I do, I could like get, send it to you. Do, you. do you have him on Telegram? or? Uh, no, he was on my Facebook. Okay. So, look, I know Telegram is extreme. Yeah. I think it's gone down. This is my thing because you've been on Telegram for too long, and it's not your fault. You didn't. You weren't expecting this. Right, I was but, expecting that. Right, but I think I think what they've sent you has gone down to infants and toddlers. Yeah, pretty much. Has it? Mm, I would say have I, I haven't seen any of the videos, but the way they talk to me about it, I think there's some out there. Right, but have they sent you anything with maybe like a five or six year old? I don't remember. I can't remember. I have a short-term memory, so I can't remember. I think if they did, it was something you do remember. I know, but I don't think so. You don't think so? You think the youngest is probably 10? Yeah. Okay. So, have you maybe seen anything with like an 8 or 9-year-old? Right, now. so. Mm -hmm. No, just 10 probably? Yeah. Okay, got it. And then you said you have a card, so I can get your card, right? Yes, absolutely. And then, um, how much longer do you think we're going to be under interrogation here? Or just talking, I mean. Interrogation? Talking, I Well, that's a, that's a wrong way to put yeah, it. Yeah, talking. Okay. Well... I, I do. I, I personally. Get going, but, you know, so. Okay. Well, hey, man, you, you had the whole day planned with her, so yeah, let's no. not pretend. <laughs> no, but I got somebody I got to take care of at home. My mom lives with me at home. She's sick. And, you live with your dad? Uh, no, nope, my dad left when I was little, so he left me. Got it. I don't know how many others lived their families, but mine did. Okay. So how, why is your name on Telegram? Yeah, on Telegram, that's who I use because I never use my real name on Telegram. Sure. You gotta cover yourself. Be sure. Safe. Okay. So just again, we're gonna speed run through these. Okay. Um, and what are you gonna do with my info? Just keep them on file. Yeah, and we'll be in touch, of okay. course. Can you? Uh, yeah, I want to give you guys my number. Yes. Oh, well, I have it here. Is that your real number? Like you said, yeah, I like to rip with you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Can you? Uh, Maybe we can get some of those guys that talk to me on there. I think so. How many people talk to you on Facebook about like that adult stuff? Um, or I'm sorry, that kid bit. stuff. Oh, kid stuff for the like, like like adults talking to you about kids, like that guy in the UK. Um, and he said he's going to be busy in the next couple of weeks with work and stuff, so he's going to be there. And he says that. No, I mean like how many people like that talk to you? Not very many. On the women's side, though, mm -hmm. everybody messaged me saying, "Oh, let's hook up today." I'm in Denver, sure. I'm in different parts of Colorado. Okay. And uh, you might see that on there. I don't know if you see that on there. So. All right. How did you guys get that info on there? You could just like print it out. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. 
So he said, wondering if you ever feel like being naughty, naughty send me a pic of you in your underwear. So what did you do with his underwear pic? She sent, or this bikini pic? Oh, that one? The bikini pic. Um, that deleted it. So okay. I, like, I don't want to keep any criminal evidence, so yeah. So you saved it and deleted it? Uh, deleted it. So okay, <laughs> yeah. got it. So yes, do you like so kissing, you, blah, blah, blah. What is he doing, getting in the car? Yeah, and you, uh, this pizza place is open too. So um, you ask her, Emily, do you like She says, yeah, I never had sex before. So what, why did you kind of ask her about I don't know. I just kind of like seeing what she knew about it, you know. I okay. think it was wrong for me to ask that. Okay, she said, okay, I can show you the things that are really good. She says, like, what, hee hee? And you said, like, your princess. Okay, so th that was as far as it would have gone today? Yeah, that's okay. about it. Okay, I respect that. Okay, so this guy's deeply in love with you. Are you having sex with him on FaceTime, Robert? Okay, so why are you asking? Um, not Robert. No. You guys know about him and stuff? Yeah, he's not good. He's not good news. So it, it seemed like you were kind of jealous about Robert. Well, I wasn't jealous. I was concerned about her. Well, you were saying you can go talk to him goodbye. I'm not your boyfriend anymore, all I this stuff. That, okay. Well, yeah. Well, time I was jealous of Robert, but I was just more like... Why were you jealous of Robert? I wasn't jealous of him. I was just like, well, she wants to talk to him, she can go talk to him, you know? Okay. And I was like, well, I didn't... Then I got over it, then I said, that's being this silly, so... Yeah. I should just be friends with her, you know. Well, I mean, why are you saying like goodbye and saying that, you know? I, I mean, know, I get drama. I'm in the theater, so I always okay. drama. <laughs> you think? I mean, this is to an 11 year old. Yeah. Okay. So then you ask here, who's your daddy? And she says you, mm -hmm. and you say, love you, baby girl. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I just what, thought, what was like, what kind of turned you on about that? Nothing turned me on. I was just like. Well, you what, know, what's the appeal of that? I just was like, I don't know. I just wanted to tell her to say because she told me that her dad <clears> left you, so I could relate. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, she wanted like a father figure, you know. Okay. Well, do you think a mentor would no. tell an 11 year old who's your daddy? No, that's not right. <laughs> or do you think they would say you're like a daughter to me? Right. No, that's not right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would say you probably like you're like a daughter to me. Okay. I should have probably said that. Well, I don't. I, I think that's not what you meant, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think you're kind of getting carried away. So do you still want to meet me in person? Blah blah blah. And um, here he said, we can. We, I can kiss all over you. And he said we can. Okay. That was inappropriate. That okay. I believe I probably shouldn't have said that to Emily. Okay. She said, oh, yeah, I see. What is and you said, remember what I told you about? We can both get together and make each other feel good. Yeah, okay. that's wrong too. So in what ways was she supposed to make you feel good? I don't know. I'm just going to be like, this. No, I'm just like. You like, sure? Maybe her. No, no. What ways her. was she supposed to do to you? What, what was she I supposed to do to you? I didn't want her to do anything to me. I just wanted her to feel good. Okay. Well, you said each other. Oh, yeah. Maybe each other. I meant maybe me. Yeah. So. Okay, what would she have done to you? If, in, in your mind? In my mind, um, I would have just liked to kiss and, and... Okay, but where would she have to you? Because you said make each other feel good. I don't know. I'll tell you the truth. Your name was Webkin? Gordon. Gordon, I'm not real sure Gordon. I was just like trying to think that, you know. So. Okay, so we can... Does that... I mean, that means... Yeah, it's not. Okay. I was like, that was probably not good. And you say, I will go real slow and take my time. You will love it when you said you want to do it. And you yeah, said... Yeah, not good. Okay. <laughs> so... I know you said the limited in a few seconds ago was the, but you said, I mean, that, I mean, that isn't for anything. Right, right, okay. Right. So would that have been her decision too? Or? Yeah, I would have been like, if you want to, we could do that. So yeah. To have? Yeah, if she wanted to. Okay. Got it. Oh, that's not you guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't want to get attacked by your vicious pit bull. I know, right? <laughs> All right. What a cute dog. Do you have any pets? No, no pets. No pets, got it. Well, you did take care of your mom though, right? Yeah, I did take care of my mom. She's allergic to dogs and cats, so she can't have any pets. She has allergies. So she's uh, in a wheelchair. I take care of her. And got right it. now her um, uh, her family, she's kind of like has a brother, the one that was a detective. He's in the rehab right now. Yeah. He got sick, so he's in rehab. Got it. Were you ever married? Never married, single, all my life, so. Okay. Just looking for the right girl. <laughs> got it. So you look. Or guy or trans, whoever. <laughs> yeah, 2023. So that's what I'm here for. I'll be your teacher. So what does that yeah, mean? I mean, like, uh, she told me that she didn't know how to kiss. So okay. I teach her how to kiss. Sure. I teach her how to do that. Sure. So I want to kiss your on your. So we've been over that already. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So did you? Uh, so here you say I want you to get on my face. That was inappropriate. I think that was probably shouldn't have said that for okay. sure. Um, I was just thinking it was just me and her. I was thinking I was talking to Emily, you know. I wasn't oh. thinking I was being recorded or being watched or anything like that, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's something you would have wanted to happen if she was... If she was willing. Okay, got it. So when you're...
can sit on my yeah, face. I figured yeah, it was a sting because when I didn't see her in there, I figured I only assumed this is a sting. <laughs> but it's not a sting. It's just you guys wanted to talk. So exactly. So you said what your papa in person? How you never mentioned him before? Okay, so you were kind of concerned about her, her grandpa. Yeah, because that guy didn't look like a grandpa to me. He looked like you know a creeper to me. Uh huh. And I was like, is this guy legit or is he? You know, he wasn't you in the picture, so. No. Yeah. I hope I don't look like a grandpa no, to you, Paul. No, but you know, I don't know who he was. You know. Sure. And she said, and she, the whole month that we were talking, she never mentioned a grandpa. Right, but you were spamming her. You were spamming her endlessly saying, take a picture with him, take a picture with him. Why yeah, is that? I asked her to take a picture. She did, and I deleted it. Um, she sent it to me because I wanted it to see, um, you know, if I needed to show it to the police or whatever. Okay. Say, so, you know, this guy was saying he was her grandpa. And what really threw me off about her is when she said I was 11 and I have a belly ring. I was like, what, 11-year-olds have belly rings? Sure, sure. And I was like, you know, I just figured, well, it's 23 and maybe parents. Yeah, what, what, what isn't off limits nowadays? Right. <laughs> So, um, okay, so, you know, Paul, obviously, and you know, I'm, you've been so honest, so I think we can get through this. So, when you're here after all this, I'm not gonna, I don't need to embarrass you, I'm not gonna read any more of these. Okay. Like, <laughs> obviously. I, what were my attentions is what you're getting at. Well, like, what my attentions were with well, no, it's, no. It's, that's fine. But um, obviously, the whole talk with the guy in the UK and the yeah. telegram, I mean, that's not all one-sided, right. okay? So when, I mean, when, when did this kind of, like, I mean, I'm just going to be frank because I think you're, you're willing to be honest too. It's an attraction you have. Yeah, a little attraction. I was, when I was younger, okay. my um, cousin, not okay. she actually, um, when I was about six, so. So you think that's how it kind of start, right? started? And I'm in therapy, so I have therapists okay. and I talk to her about stuff and um, I haven't had too many flashbacks or anything like that. Okay. Maybe I should talk to her about urges and stuff like that, that I have urges. So how long have these urges been going on for? Um, since I've been on Facebook. I mean, since I've been talking to these supposedly young kids and stuff like that. And I okay. was like, um, I wasn't even like, I mean, I wasn't done to come today, but I just said, well, let's just try it. If it happens, and I was thinking the most that she wouldn't show up, like a lot of them show up and nobody's okay. there. Yeah, but, but Paul, you understand like, if you've had Telegram for a year and Facebook for a month, mm -hmm. Telegram, I mean, it, obviously the urges have been longer than two months. I yeah, mean, I mean, come I on, know, man. I've had all the urges, but I mean, I'll look at them and stuff, but I right. don't do anything, so. Right, when, when did the urges, so when, when did the urges truly start? Um, I don't know, just probably, probably like whenever, I don't know, I can't tell you that. I just really can't, I can't even tell my therapist that. What's so. your best guess? I don't know. Uh, well, you have a best guess, surely. Probably like, you mean like when I first started the urges? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know, probably was like when I was in my teens, probably. Teens? Okay. Yeah. And what was it? Like, how, how big was the gap? Um, not too big. Just like my cousin's age, she was probably about 11 mm -hmm. when she did that, and I was about six, so we're about five years apart or so. So you think when you were in your teens, you liked people five years younger? Or? Yeah, about five years younger. Sure. Yeah. And I kind of stayed the same? Yeah, stayed the same. Okay. So when did you kind of first access child? It couldn't, it couldn't have been just a year ago. I mean, that's ridiculous to yeah. assert. Uh, probably 2019. 2019. So when I had my iPhone, I had an iPhone 8 Plus that died on me, and uh, and then I ended up getting the government phone that I could afford. You know, Medicaid, Medicare pays for the phone. Okay. And so I'm on SSI. Okay. I've had two open heart surgeries. I've had two hernia surgeries. But you get paid for acting, right? Um, not always. I mean, it's a mostly a volunteer role. Oh, nice. And I already graduated in 2022. Amazing. So. Um, I still want to continue my schooling and then get become a theater major. So nice. I want to become a theater major. Yeah, I and mean, come on, so I'll just get in the way of that. Yeah. Well, usually they go hand in hand in Hollywood. Yeah, <laughs> that's a whole that's different right. thing. <laughs> but uh, okay, so 2019, where did you see this child? Uh, probably the Telegram stuff because Telegram they'll send them on videos. That was all 2019 too. Yeah, and then they'll get you in groups too. Like if you know the right guy, they'll get you in. Okay, groups. so you were in some groups. Okay. I'm on Telegram. What was being sent in the groups? Uh, just videos of kids having with adults. Okay. Mm, whatever kind of videos you could think of. Sure. I even saw one video of a guy, I think he was at his end of his year of being a kid and they were telling him. And you saw it on Telegram? Mm -hmm. Have you been on the dark web at all? Oh, I'm on, yeah, that is the dark web pretty much. Well, have you gone on to the Tor browser and stuff? No, not that far, just the Telegram stuff, Snapchat okay. and Facebook, but that was a video that was on there. Uh, and I knew in Sounds of Freedom, that's what they do to these kids that once they can't make money for them anymore, they on the black market. How old was the person? Uh, he was probably about 18. Okay. And I think once they turn 18, 19, they're done with. They're not cute anymore to them and they can't make the money. So they just, you know, he was alive. Mm. 
Or who sent that video? Uh, this one sick guy that's in the group. Because you always get a sicko that's in the group. Sure. Was he getting off to it? I don't think so, because we couldn't see anybody's face in the group. Uh -huh. So you can't see anybody's face. So all you see well, did he face. send it for people? pleasure uh i think he would because i okay. think he was sending that stuff and he also sent one of a guy getting his head okay so i mean you see all kinds of shit on there and it was so was that was that uh open was that in the was that in the telegram group uh yeah that was in the telegram okay group. how long was that video mm, just about maybe a few seconds okay got it so uh okay well if Not you've been a few seconds a little longer than that okay. like how how long do you think maybe 10 seconds okay something like that it's a short video it's not sure a sure so um i gotta ask uh have you been on Telegram for four years? I've know you've seen some shit younger than ten years old. So yeah, I probably have. So what? So what? What was it? If you, if you, I mean, did it go down to infants sometimes? Yeah, something like that. Okay. Um, and I was gonna say that if we're. Who sent those infants? I feel like I'm kind of done talking right now. Do I need to get a lawyer or anything like that? No. No. I don't think so. Because I feel like I want to leave, and if you let me leave, I'll leave. Um, if you're keeping me, then you know we can call the cops or whatever. Um, it's up to you. I mean, I was like, if I'm free to go, I would like to go. Well, Paul, I mean, you know, basically, my thing is, these weren't any of your videos. Right. So, I mean, if you're actually going to put your money where your mouth is... And I want to get these people. Then let's get them. Because this is a... Oh, this did we go to your car and get your card and all that? Yeah. Okay. Did, did, I mean, I, I don't think I've ever said this conversation was going to be easy. Yeah. Okay. And I'd like to get some water or something, so... Hmm. Well, I mean, you know, I'm not... Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm here. So, um, you know, basically... What's the next step, I guess, is what I'm asking well, you. Well, I'm curious about who is sending those infant videos, if you remember. Yeah. Um, well, I can give you the info from the guy that I have on Telegram. I'll send it to you on a text if you have your text on and I'll okay. text it to you. Well, I guess, where were they sent? Um, they were sent on a phone, on my phone. And uh, he just said he was from Australia or something. And he was sending infant stuff? Well, he just sends all kinds of stuff, you know? Well, some, were some of those infants? Some of them are infants. Okay. Some are older. And were these videos of him? Videos or? and stuff like Okay. That, yeah. What was happening? Is, okay. Well, actually, I don't want to make you relive those videos. Yeah. I'm just going to ask for one. What happened in one it's of the... It's 11 o'clock now. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. what, what happened in one of the videos? In one of the videos, they were pretty much having this one girl who... She seemed... She was some guy's... And then she was getting... And it was an infant? It was an infant. Okay. Well, she wasn't like... She's probably like five or six. Yeah, that's Sure. Nice. Sure. Have you seen any, like, baby babies? No, I haven't. Well, you you, you guy, sure? Baby, baby, okay. Guy, like boy, yeah. What was happening in that video? Was, uh, okay. Okay, and, and and how uh, how long was that video? That video was probably about five seconds, maybe. So it wasn't very long. A lot of them are very short. Okay. And they're just homemade videos of these guys that do it. They send them on their phone, and then they send them to, you know, out there in the internet world. Sure. Do you have an iPhone or Android? I have an Android. So. Okay. So um, I gotta ask uh, I gotta ask. So how um, how much longer do you think we'll be here? Uh, probably like twenty minutes. Twenty more minutes. No. Okay. Do, do people yeah, do DoorDash? Here? Yes, absolutely. Um, I'll get I'll get that to you here in a sec. Okay. Um, so it's 11 o'clock now. So. Yeah, mm -hmm. of course. I just want to get back to my mom. So right, right, right. So I, I got to ask, man. Um, well, so uh, how many times have you kind of traded back? Traded back? Yeah. I just get whatever guys send me, and if they send me anything, I will send them something. But I was like, okay. You know, I don't want to get to jail. I don't want right, to right. become a registered. Right. So. How many? How many? Uh, have you been trading since 2019? No, I've been off of the internet for like two years. Okay. So 2020, 21, 22, I was off, and then okay. I got on about 2023. So. How often do you think you trade? Mm, I haven't traded actually at all. Well, Did you, I just say I traded? You said forward, forward pictures. So, forward. so how often do you do that? This, uh, this 2019 was probably the last. I don't think I did any this year. Don't think you did any this year. I get them. I don't just trade them or nothing. Like okay. That, so. I don't want to be distributing. So, so you don't think I was on a fake account messaging you for that, and you sent them? Mm, I guess you could have been, yeah. Okay, so how many times do you think you sent that stuff? I don't know. I can't think of it. As I said, I have a short-term memory. I've had a lot of concussions. Try your best guess. I've had a lot of concussions, so I can't remember. Sure, just try your best guess. Maybe two or three. Two or three. Times. Okay. Got it. So, okay. So, so how, how come people kind of... Uh, Message me then? Yeah, how come they how come they know, know that you're a trader? Like I don't know. I just don't know and I said they just figure out, you know. Yeah, like I go in these groups and you know, I ask like and you know, Emily was after all of this. Mm -hmm. So, you know. So I, I go in these groups and I'm like, "Hey, do you know who has a lot of this stuff?" And they all dude, three people pointed me to you. Mm -hmm. They didn't. Know. Yeah, absolutely. So, how, how why do you think they're saying that? Probably cuz they don't want to get in trouble with you guys. They probably don't want to get in trouble with Oh, well, it's not me that's on. messaging. It's 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 me on a trader account, fake yeah. trader account. I mess it why why are they all saying you have a lot of child I have no idea. Maybe they don't want to get busted. Okay. But they're sending it themselves. But why are they saying that about you, though? 
I have no idea. Why do they say? Why do they say they can find you for infant I have stuff? No they can, idea. Okay. I think they're trying to save themselves from getting in trouble, and they okay. probably want to throw me under the bus. And okay. Say he's the one that has, and I'm getting it from instead of the other way around. Okay. Well, what What have you distributed? Nothing. I have distributed nothing. What have you What have you forwarded? Nothing. Okay. Well, that's not true. Mm -hmm. I don't think you actually want to help then. I, mean, I do want to help, but it's just like I haven't done done anything. So. Well, you just told me you forwarded probably three or four times. Yeah. Well. If I have to get a lawyer, I will get a lawyer because I have a lawyer. So if I need to get him involved, I can get him involved, and then you guys could talk to me in court or wherever we need to go. Because I think I'm done talking right now. All right. Well, I mean, we're. Like I still like your card, and I still like to get in touch with you. Yeah, we'll give you the card. Okay. Sure. You want to go get him a card? Yeah. So you have to. Oh, hey. Uh, can you open it? Okay. Get him. I got it. Here they. Oh. So do you guys like know where I live and all that info? Yeah, yeah. I do. Your mom doesn't have your last name, does she? Mm -mm. Yeah, that's what I figured. So am I going to be hearing from your guys' as lawyer, or am I going to be hearing from you guys again? They're uh, they're in the uh, they're in the bottom thing, like it's a, a container cup there. Holder. Oh, cup holder, yeah. I'm Roger. Was that your name, Roger? No. No. <laughs> Andrew. No. no, I'm Gordon. Gordon, Gordon, Gordon. Yeah. So, so the head the head of our thing, his name's Alex. He lives in Houston, but we're just kind of our we're just kind of the Wyoming, Colorado thing. Okay. So when was the next time I'll be hearing from you? You think? Well, oh, I guess I guess whenever you want to reach out. Okay. And your number's on the card? Yes. Well, no, well, Alex is. You more have like a, a barcode. You, okay. you just scan it and you get like all, all the info. All it's the info. Like, it's like new tech, you know? Yeah, you scan a barcode, yeah. a QR code. Yeah, yeah new tech. All right. Well, so I'm just curious about some other things. So, I mean, how old, how old is your mom now? I'd rather not give up how old she is or any information about her. Okay, well, I'm just curious. Like, is she like, I'm glad you, I mean, I, yeah. I do older. applaud she's you taking care of her. She's elderly, so let's say she's elderly. Sure, I applaud you taking care and of her, she man. She has a ramp on the house, so if you've seen the house, you know she has a ramp. Got it. She's in a wheelchair pretty much all the time. She can't transfer her and pivot, and I always help her with everything I can. I'm pretty much her. I'm not her trying to probe for info. I'm literally just curious. Yeah, I'm her stone, so I help her with everything, just like a good son would with their mom, you know? Okay. And I don't want her to go to rehab or in a nursing home because, you know, shit happens there too where they. Oh, it's terrible. Somebody. Terrible. And I was like, I don't want to, you know, her to go through that. So well, I was like, as long as I can and I'll be alive on this earth, I'm going to help take care of my mom until the day I die. Absolutely. So. I respect the out of that. So just curious, what's your what's the favorite play you've been, ever been a part of? Like I said, The Wizard of Oz. Uh -huh. And then there was another one called uh, She Kills Monsters, which was a Red Rocks play. Okay. And, and that's the one here. Like Dungeons and Dragons kind of thing. Where sure. I had a three-headed dragon that the team had to make, and they had to make fire come out. Not real fire, but fake fire come out of its mouth and all that. So. Okay. That was fun. Yep, I've been to Red Rocks for about four years. I would have graduated in two because of the pandemic. I had to do online. Sure. Is that, so there's like a school thing there or whatever? It's a, There's a theater program there. And they have a great theater. So if you guys are ever interested in theater, check out Red Rocks Mini College. Yeah, my grandma does like to go to plays. Um, they're not bad. They're like five, six bucks a ticket for a play. Do you all, do you all fill it up pretty well? Um, yeah, we have about 60 seats. And I think about, most of them get filled because it's a small little theater. Sure. It's in a community college. So. Oh, badass. Yeah. Nice. Um, no, I found him, uh, 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 Gordon. Yeah, I remember Chef Gordon Ramsay now. <laughs> um, that uh, that I do volunteer mostly. So, like, because I'm a student, I always audition for a play. And if I don't get in it, I tell my teacher I want to be behind the scenes because I want to be a team player. I want to do that. And I also want to be a screenwriter. I'd love to be a screenwriter than an actor. Okay. I love screenwriting. Well, here, here's a more softball question than, um, you know. I love baseball. Uh, I see you. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Astros guy. Okay, so when did uh when did you start getting into theater? I got into theater because I always wanted to, but because I've had the uh, um, complications of health issues all my life, you know, uh, open heart surgeries and stuff. I had that when I was two and a half. Oh shit! And then I had one when I was nineteen. So it's really a I success might have story. A third one. I'm not sure if I'm going to have the third one or not yet. Well, um, what's kind of going on with your heart? Um, I had a big hole in my heart when I was born, so they had to patch that up. Mm. And when I turned nineteen, they had to put a human heart valve in it, so the aorta valve yeah. that uh, pumps the blood to your heart. I had to get into that, so they did that. So now they're just kind of managing them. When the heart valve goes on this one, then I'll have to probably do another one. They don't have to open me up, but they can go through the 
now and go up and they could be home the next day if there's no complications to surgery. That's cr That's amazing they did a, because you're 54 now, no, so. No, I'm, I'm okay, don't age me that much, dude. I'm only 42. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> Be <laughs> not literally. Or oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're born in 1980. So yeah. in 1982, they did some miracle shit. Yeah, they did some miracle shit. That was. Um, they said if I would have been born in 79, I probably would have died because they didn't have that technology yet. So good thing I was born in 80. So. <laughs> wow, man. I was lucky to be born in the right year. <laughs> sure. And then you're gonna say baseball stuff, but I love baseball. So every state I go to, I try to get a baseball hat. So I have. Yeah, I was wondering about that. I was to Washington twice. So I've been to okay. Washington D.C. with disability policy seminar because I was on. The, you know the Arc of Colorado, or the Arc with Thrift Store? No, tell me about it. Yeah, so the Arc Thrift Store is a company here. It's sort of like uh, the Goodwill. Have you heard of Goodwill? Yes, of course. So the Arc is a nonprofit organization that they get stuff for uh, donation stuff to them, you know, and then they sell it to people. They're like a Goodwill. Okay. And I was on their board of directors for three years. Okay. So when I was on their board, I was with the Arc of Colorado, and then we were able to travel for disability policy seminars. That's how I got to go to Washington, D.C. twice. I went to Nashville once with them, and then I've gone to Disneyland because I love Disneyland. Disneyland. Sure, right, of course. Um, and I love Las Vegas, so those are all fun cities. You gamble in Vegas? Nope, I just see shows. I nice. see Adam Lambert in Las Vegas. Oh, so nice, nice. And I Maroon also, Five, right? Uh, no, not Maroon Five. He's Adam Lambert is actually his own person. He was on American Idol. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's an awesome singer. Yeah, he is. And then um, I'd like to go for the buffets. All you can eat lunches up there. We and do I too. Like we do too. The shopping up there in Las Vegas, you could do lots of shopping. I like going to the uh, M and M Museum and stuff like that you know seeing all that cool stuff. sure Who's your favorite, of, uh, baseball team uh, my favorite baseball team i like the rockies but they're never going to win a series so no um i like alley dodgers i wear a lot of alley dodger hats and then i also wear uh, yankees i like yankees but i like the i like all of them i like all of the teams so. you just like the you appreciate the sport i love baseball i'm a red blooded american red blooded american <laughs> and i love baseball oh, so that's your favorite sport um i would say my favorite sport i love playing catch like anybody that wants to play catch i'll play catch with you if you have a glove and i can have a glove i'll play catch with you because i love playing catch did you ever play like little league or anything I or weren't evil when i was like six seven years old after heart surgery that's yeah, crazy i was playing that and then i even got my black belt in karate with my heart surgery nice and that took four years but now my body feels it my spine's fucked up because of it. They throw you around the mat like crazy. Yeah. And so now my spine's fucked up, but I have lower back problems. I'm going to see a specialist about that now. So it's like, uh, I'm not going to get a back surgery, but I'll do yeah. physical therapy, get my core stronger, um, that kind of thing. So it was a karate? So was it any type or was it just karate? Just karate. And just karate? Just, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's karate. So. <laughs> Got and it. I got through all the bat, all the stages of the belts, and then I got. I can't remember stuff though because of my concussions. It's like I remember how to defend myself a little, but not a lot, you know. Okay, have, have you had fights? Uh, when I was younger, I was bullied. So when I was in school, I was bullied. I don't know about you guys, but I was always like bullied when I was in school. So yeah. I was giving people like you wet willies. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. No, nah, you were being a cool guy, huh? Yeah, no, I would never. You probably helped somebody that was being. Of bullied. course, no, I never. I mean, we didn't really have much bullying in high school. Oh, no. Not at all, really. Everybody got along. Well, I went to a crazy school. So I went to a school that's not here anymore. It's called Community Involved Charter School. It was a charter school. Okay. So we would get funding from the government every so often. Uh -huh. And uh, it was just, we would take at-risk kids that weren't able to graduate out of regular public school. So maybe they did a crime or they were just kind of violent or whatever. So we would, yeah. and we would say, okay, if you do your work, you can graduate. And I don't know, I was the, one of the last groups to graduate in 99. Congrats. I graduated in 99. Amazing. Did you okay. get have a good GPA? Or? Uh, I was average. I always had learning disabilities, so I have uh, dyslexia. Mm. So reading and writing is hard for me. Okay. I can tell digital time, but I can't tell analog time. Got it. Um, yeah, and reading is kind of hard. So like when I talk on my phones and stuff, I use speech to text because I love the technology these days. Before we had speech to text, we had the flip phones where you had to do it by hand. Yes. And that was always frustrating because I was getting words backwards. People weren't understanding my texts. So. Wow. Okay. I'm glad we've come a long way with technology. So <laughs> absolutely, it's definitely helped. And I hope it's people. getting better. I hope so too. I hope yeah. so too. Um, wow. So I mean, that's my life here in Denver. So <laughs> and my father left when I was a girl young. Gosh. And uh, he remarried, married a Russian woman, and raised her kids. And so you know, he left ha me and my mom. So. Ha have you always lived in Denver? Always born and raised. I was born at Rose Medical. Okay. And now I'm still there. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rose Medical. So I am a resident of uh, native of Colorado. Nice. How do you, I mean, how many states have you been to? Jeez, I would say probably 15. 15? I want to get to all 50. How, what, what, uh, so obviously DC, well, that's not really a oh, state. DC twice. So that's I, a state. That's our capital. Yeah, so I guess you've been to Maryland, Virginia? No, no, no? I've been to Maryland, Virginia, but I just went there for the disability policy. Okay, center. okay. And uh, then I had, I got this hat because I like the Nats. So. <laughs> well, what other, what other hats do you have? Like, what other I teams? I have uh, the Yankees hat, a Rockies hat, and right. Los Angeles Dodgers. 
Okay, so you've been to California then? Uh, yeah, I've been to Anaheim and Los Angeles. They showed me the ocean for the first time because I've never seen the ocean. Uh huh. And all I've seen are mountains here and evergreens. Got it. So, yeah, it was cool seeing the ocean for the first time. They took me to the Santa Monica Pier. Wow. Oh, was that for the yeah. thing? No, that was just a group that takes people with out to vacation. Okay. Yeah, so we went, uh, went with them and I saw the ocean. Wow. Yeah. My favorite state, I don't know. I like them all, but it's like, I like Vegas. It's fun city. Um, but I also like, uh, California is fun. I like California. I like the ocean. Seeing yeah, the ocean. I sure. I see it again sometime soon. I well, plan on next year going to Disney World. So yeah. that's where I want to go. So what kind of, uh, what kind of did, uh, oh, I got my back. What kind of, what kind of did, uh, like, is it like physical or? Uh, no, um, it's a mental. Okay. Mental learning. Got it. So were you like in high yep, school? I was in all through school. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got it. Got it. And uh, they try to teach me money and how to tell time, but it is because of my concussions and stuff. It just doesn't stick in my brain. So right. Right. That's why with names, I even have a hard time. I'll ask people. And what I do now is I'll remember you with actors. So mm. like, uh, I said, Gordon Ramsay. Right. I remember your name, Gordon. What was your name? Uh, Derek Chauvin. I don't know if there's a Derek actor, but I'll probably think of Derek. Oh, he's pretty famous. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then his name was? Dylan. Dylan, yeah, I remember like Bob Dylan or Dylan, uh, yeah. uh, the actor. Oh, Dylan Mulvaney? Dylan Mulvaney, yeah. I was thinking of the other guy, what's his name? She. Matt Dylan. Matt Dylan is who I was thinking of. Matt Dylan, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I'm yeah, so sorry. That's up. Right, I'm sorry. Like, seriously, sweetie, come on. You guys seem like the kind of guys I like to be friends with because I have no friends. We I'm love to make it, a circle man. Of friends. You know, I'm trying to make a good circle of friends. Right, right. Because that was another thing I had a, a hard time of finding. Good people, I got scammed because I thought these guys were my friends at King Supers. I worked there. Yeah. And they took advantage of me and they took all my stuff. And then I went home with mom again. But I was trying to be independent, living independently. Sure. And they just took advantage of that. Oh my and God. They got into and stuff like that. So you're not like or anything? No, not. I'm very high functioning, is what they call it. There's different levels of people with uh -huh. high functioning, low functioning, and severe. Okay. And then the severe ones are the ones that can't speak for themselves. And even right. verbal people that have to use sign language because they can't speak. You know. Yeah, because you don't strike me as somebody who's like. My aunt tells me all the time, and I have to remind her. I say, you know, I'm more of a learning than okay. physical. Okay. Right. I don't, have to, I don't look it, and I talk very well. That's my thing is that I'm a great talker. Yeah, you are. And I said I did that with the Ark of Colorado. I was fighting for people with rights of to be able to marry whoever they want, uh -huh. and also. Are they not allowed to marry? Much, no, because they're, they have to, they're on Social Security. Social Security wants to be able to keep you from being. They think you're milking the system. Now, like you're not milking the system. If they love each other, they should be able to marry each other. Yeah, yeah. And live together. Well, so now people just do civil union, but you live together, have kids, get rings, but no certificate. You can't have a marriage certificate. Okay. So that's what people are doing nowadays. Got it. So I mean, um, that's what I was fighting for. I want to fight someday. Hopefully, see that change. So whatever. Yeah. Marry. So are you? Uh, so basically, your your thing is just like words on paper, more learning. So it's not like, so it's not like, I mean. I couldn't read a full book. I like audio books. So I okay. listen to CDs. Okay. CDs, audio. So I listen to all the Harry Potters on CD. I listen okay. to Twilight's on CD. Okay. But there's no like, you know, there's no mental limitations. Like, I don't know where the potatoes are in the grocery store type things going well, on. I'm pretty good about that. I know my King Supers. <laughs> okay. Got I know it. about King Supers and I know Bear Valley down in Bear Valley King Supers. So. Got it. Cool, cool, cool. And I do drive and I drive. I have a license, which I was proud of because I mean, I have 16. I got my license and had it since I was 16. Nice. So. Yeah, take like a special test for that? Uh, no, like, no, I just actually, intended, I just had somebody do it verbally to me. So I didn't know the answers. Oh, okay. They had to read me the, the test. And I had to give them my best answer because I had to study the book like everyone else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, they just read it to me and then I gave them the answers and I passed. So, so the first time, second time. I yeah. So, so say like, um, so say you're going to a place in Denver that you don't know or something. Right. I never go anywhere farther than my area. Like, this oh, is my area. okay. Okay. Um, I won't go north of Westminster or Broomfield. I don't know that area. So I have people okay. attacks. So I'll get scared. Because I was going to ask you about that. Like, how would you read the street signs in those areas? That's hard to do. Okay. Uh, mine is location. I know locations and uh -huh. I know, um, like, uh, landmarks are my biggest thing. Landmarks. So that's yeah. why. So that's why. I know landmarks. Okay, so that's why you just said the library over and over. She knew where the library was. I knew where the library. Right, was. Right, right, right. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So if you know, I mean, or let's say meet at a McDonald's on Jill and Mondrith, I know where Jill and Mondrith is, and I know the McDonald's on the corner. But you don't. You don't see it as the signs Jill and Mondrith. You just know that well, area. Now I, do. now I know it says Belmar Library. Okay. Know? So yeah. So is so is simple words like Belmar? Can you like read and understand? I can or? read them and understand them, and I know what the word library is. So I know when I'm at a library. I know when I'm at a hospital and stuff. Oh, well, you know how to. Sp Spell your name, right? Yeah, well, I use my speech to text. Okay, got it. So, any phone I have, I always have to make sure it has speech to text. Some phones don't have it. 
Some phones, I don't know if all phones have them, but some phones don't have them. So is that why you have the Android or? No, that's because of a government program of Medicaid and Medicare. Sure. Phone for me. Okay. So. Got it, got it. So uh, do you make any income on your own? Like? Uh, no, right now I just take care of my mom full time. I'm a full time um, neat CNN, I guess, without the certificate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So what, what did mom do for work when she was younger? Um, she worked at Trigus for like 10 years until she got sick. Oh. And then she had to like retire early. Dang, okay. And now she's on oxygen and all that. Oh stuff. man, I'm sorry. Do they, do they at least like give her like pensions or uh, benefits? We both get social security, so that's how we're surviving is on social security. So if Trump says let's get in the office again and he wants to get rid of all social security, we're fucked and we're homeless because we probably lose our house. Yeah, well. If it's any good news for you, if Trump gets back gets back in, he's literally the same as everybody else. Right. Huh? <laughs> They're all the same. Well, I know so they said anybody's better than Joe Biden, so we'll see. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> uh, probably. <laughs> I, well, I, to be fair, I also think a rock would be better than Donald I'd Trump. Probably be a better president I, than I, Joe I, Biden. I'd vote for you. Or do you, or do you identify a liberal? Um, I was actually Republican, believe it or not, but I feel like I want to maybe change and be independent. Okay. Because I was like, I don't feel like I'm on one or two sides. I feel like okay. I'm who's ever the, I feel agree with, agree with them, and then Sounds I'll go based. with that. Base. Are you vaccinated? Uh, yep, yeah, vaccinated. Awesome. Okay, base, very base. Is that what they call it? Yeah. yeah, I didn't get the thirdest one, but I got the first two. Was you didn't get boosted? I didn't get the booster yet. Oh, let me, let me back <laughs> up. Let me back up. Yeah, we don't want any white supremacy going on here. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like, you know, I've been both of them. So why didn't get, and then there's going to be a fourth shot out there. Right. Um, all right. Well, you know, I'm going to be honest with you, man. We kind of gave you a BS card. We'll get you the real card because you've been so cool with us. Okay. Just uh, see if the card's by the pickles. So should I get this one back to you guys? Or you want to go there or just keep it? Yeah, okay, keep it. There, there's a barcode okay. on there. Go ahead. Yeah, tell them to hurry the f up. So what's the next process? Do you think I'll be hearing from you or you want to hear from me? Or what do you want to do? Um, well, I mean, I think that we can, uh, I mean, I do think that you have the ability to turn this around. I really do. Um, Cause I'm such a good guy, you know, and I'm, an, I'm actually a Catholic actually by religion. Great guy. Yeah. <laughs> so anything I can do to help, let me know. Like I said, I could probably catch some of these people cause they like talking to me on social media. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And I know you have my number, so if you want to text me, text me. And we can always meet at a Starbucks or whatever. Sure. So, just curious, where does your where does your mom think you went? Um, she thinks I go once a month uh, with this guy named Bill, and he's about your height, and he looks like <laughs> he's redhead. Does Bill live in Colorado? Yes, and he has a family and a wife and two kids, and uh, he uh, picks me up, and we do uh, like they call it getting me out into the community. Sure. So that I can do uh, errands, because it's always this appointments and grocery shopping with my staff that I work with. Uh, yeah. Sample support, and so when he can get me out, he gets me out in the community, and we can do fun things sometimes. So we've gone to movies and stuff. We see movies this year. Uh, like I said, play catch if I want to play catch. Whatever I want to do. Basically. So do you all have like a, you have like a baseball glove at home? Uh, I need to find one. I don't have one, and I gotta find out what size. I have a small hand, so I need to get the size of my glove. I don't have one. <laughs> what uh? What, what do you play? What do you what like? What what do you play catch with? Like a football or something? Um, baseball, hardball, it's a hard baseball. Oh, so you just toss it with your hands? Yeah, and then throw it to you, and then you throw it back. Not real hard. I don't like getting you know hard and hit. <laughs> but yeah, soft throwing, and we just like to play catch and toss in the ball. Who doesn't, right? That's right. Fun. Especially the summertime. In the wintertime, you can't do shit, but when it's summertime, I like to do that. <clears throat> what are your plans for the rest of the day? Um. Go back. <laughs> probably gonna eat some food. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Since it's almost lunchtime. What is your favorite food? I love pizza. That's my favorite. I think I told Emily my favorite is pizza. Yeah. I always ask everybody online. I say, "What's your favorite food?" And I'm always curious. I'm a foodie. I like food. What's your favorite pizza place here in Denver? There's a good one. Um, there's that uh, Johnny's people on uh, Rodgerick. It's called Johnny's New York Pizza, and it's on Wadsworth. You guys should check that one out. It's on Wadsworth in Mississippi, I believe, right there by the Grease Monkey. Okay. And that's a good one. Um, where else is another good pizza? Rico's Pizza, that's off of Eng in Inglewood. Okay. And that's uh, Broadway in Inglewood. That's called Rico's. They're a little small place, but you guys could fit in there and have a pizza. <laughs> well, I hope I can fit into a well, place. I don't think you have a yeah. restaurant's a little place. I couldn't find it. That's all right. Bro, my mom just called me. Huh? You, know how, you know how I got that new laptop? Yeah. She was like, the UPS driver was supposed to be here, but then he, he, got, called, he got called into another delivery. So uh -huh. He's going to try to get the race up. God damn, dude. Starving my ass off.
Yeah, I just told uh, Gordon about a couple of good pizza places you guys should try out. Oh yeah? Yeah. Is there good pizza joints um, here? I said there's one on Wadsworth, Mississippi, New York. Uh, Johnny's New York Pizza, that's a good one. And then there's another one over here off of, uh, what did I say, Inglewood and Broadway. It's called uh, Rico's. What uh, what pizzas do you recommend? Like um, I like the uh, pepperoni and sausage and extra cheese on mine. Mm. That's a good one. Um, good whatever meat lover, huh? Yeah, I like Love meat. That meat. <laughs> he does too. Yeah. But like, man, you know what I'm saying? Man, Some are plant based and some are vegetarian. So. Oh, plant. Okay. Good. I'm not plant based though. Oh <laughs> so. uh, no. Uh, uh -uh. <laughs> how, how come your teeth are kind of blue? Kind of blue. Yeah. I don't know why they're blue. I had a blue toothpaste. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I got toothpaste on my shit. <laughs> God, looks like you gave the Cookie Monster some. <laughs> Golly. Yeah, I use this one Colgate toothpaste and it's blue. Okay. <laughs> I told you I need some water so I could rinse it. <laughs> you want to go in the library and get some? I'm oh, good. I'm going to almost finish up or? Yeah, yeah, almost. Um, let's see. Yeah, Thanks for telling me I had blue teeth. This is the last segment we have, you know, with new team members. We want to get to know them and stuff. So. Sure. Yeah. You just want to know like about your life. Yeah, you guys you know all about my life. Yes, yeah, so, 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 so like how, how, do you think you're, how do you think you can help us? Whatever you need me to do, Gordon. I'm mean, like, you know, I'm a team player, so. Whatever you want me to do. If you want me to get on and talk to these I'll do that if you want me, you know, whatever. Whatever you need me to do. Whatever. Yeah. Anything? Like, what do you mean anything? Uh, <laughs> I ain't gonna meet him because that's dangerous. Oh, so the other people you won't meet. Okay, yeah. no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like those crazy people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not crazy. Sure. So, um, yeah, man, I, so... And just and this is just to, to to make sure where we can obviously minimize the quote unquote damage. Yeah. So is this is this like kind of happening only on your phone or only on your computer? Or? On the phone. I, on I, the phone. Some, I have a laptop, but I use that for like YouTube. Um, I listen to ASMR videos. Uh, I like that kind of stuff that helps me sleep at night. Yeah. I can't sleep in total silence. I have to have a fan on or something. Oh, dude, hell yeah! I know. Uh, I'm with you on the fan. I'm with you, you on the fan. Can't sleep in total silence either. You, you, no, f that. Yeah, it's too hard. <laughs> well. It, I mean, if there was like AC blowing, I probably yeah. could, but I mean, I need a fan on for yeah. sure. So, um, yeah, that shows you how programmed we are. Cause you know, in the camp, in, well, I guess when you go camping, you hear sounds. Yeah. True. Have you been camping before? Not in years. I would love to go, but I, I would been too. Years. We can go as a group sometime. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. I haven't gotten, I have a fishing license from the state of Colorado where I could fish in any park. Nice. So all I need is the fishing one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nobody to go fishing with. So, I guess um, I need like a mentor basically, you know, somebody that I could hang with. Right. Keep me out of trouble, that kind of, I don't get in trouble, but you know what I mean. Right, right, right. So, I mean, just curious, I mean, have you ever been on the dark web? Mm, I think so. When I was in 2019, I had my iPhone 8 Plus. Uh -huh. And I didn't even know what that dark web was. Oh, until gosh. I started getting into <laughs> those guys. That was a shock to me. <laughs> I bet mean, I was too, way too far. That was way too far, and I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> How'd you even get on there? Yeah. Uh, Who introduced you to it? Yeah. That's, how I'm, that's what I'm trying to figure out. I think, um, probably like when I was on my Telegram back in 2019. Someone gave you the Tor browser? Yeah. They Crazy. Just, like, yeah, I was just like, oh, shit. <laughs> God damn. And that's what I wanted to do, too, is I want to do a program here in the Colorado have people with disabilities come because I know they all have phones. I mm -hmm. want to teach them to be safe on their phones mm -hmm. and I want to teach them how to block people, how to, because uh, they don't know how to do any of that. Right. And I was like, you know, there'll be a seminar and it would just teach them how to um, be safe on the internet. Like, right. I do that kind of thing. I think that would be good for people, you know, that my age and older. Yeah. So, my God, man. So, was, it your, was that Australian guy who introduced you to the dark web? Might have, because you know, they change them so much and yeah. they get deleted a lot. Yeah. And I said it could have been him. He uses like a picture of a train um, on the on Telegram. So I was like, I don't know. They use all kinds of different fake pictures like I do. So it's just, you know. <laughs> Got it. So, I mean, what's kind of the worst you think you've seen on the dark web? Just pure curiosity, You're not trying have to. to make me relive it? <laughs> yeah, sadly. Okay. I'm just asking. Let's see. Like I said, probably that girl being. Oh, that was on the dark web? That was on the dark web. Okay. And I don't want to like remember it again, but yeah. So that wasn't Telegram, that was the dark web. Okay, but yeah, I guess that was, I guess, I don't know if I've ever been on the dark web. Oh. What's the difference? Well, the, the, the tour browser, I mean, did you go click on this onion tour browser thing? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay, well, it's just been Telegram then. Oh, All right. So I've Telegram then. Sure, yeah. sure, sure. Okay. All right, but yeah, that's my plan. So I'm going to get in touch with the director of the advocacy of Denver, who they help people, they're advocates and they help people with and see if we could do a program like that. Okay. I think that would really help people. Got it. Got tape it. On their phones, you know. Sure. And learn how to how to block people. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. They don't know how to block people. No, they don't. They don't. I mean, do you come to this library often? Just... Yeah, I have a card here, and I I know this library. 
And I even walk around here. There's great paths to walk around. There's a Lakewood Museum back there. Nice. And it's a small museum, but it's cool. Does the library know you? Like? Uh, no, not by name or not. They don't say, hey, like, you know, Paul, they don't do that. But they just know I give them my card and they scan my card. I okay. get movies, basically. You don't I get any movies. books? Never books. Oh, well, yeah, I guess Audio. you do. Yeah. I do. Do you have a DVD player? Uh, yep, I have a DVD player, so I love a nice collection. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite movie? Jeez, I like a lot of uh, Disney and Marvel stuff. I love uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I love those guys, Star Lord and uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, yeah. That is crazy, man. Mm -hmm. Yep, Guardians of the Galaxy are awesome. Have you seen the new Ant-Man? Uh, no, but I want to. Is that a Marvel? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not too big in the DC, but I do like Harley Quinn. She's cool. Yeah. Yeah, Harley Quinn is cool. <laughs> We like, or like audiobooks or like comics or anything? Um, like? Yeah, I'll listen to audiobooks and comics. I mean, they have everything for audiobooks. So. Mm. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So you just get it all from the library? Yep, all from the library here. That's why it's so nice to come here. Wow. It is a, one of the best ones in Denver. Yeah. So there's Beautiful. one right by mine on Federal, and I don't like it because there's like a, it's kind of shady in there, and there's people that you don't know if they're good or not. Right. So this one's a safe family library. So that's what I like about it. <laughs> Golly. That's crazy. So. It blew out of my teeth now. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. It is. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, mm. okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well. Um, Alrighty then. Yeah, man. That that's 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 crazy. So, what's your favorite audio book? You think? Um, I, at the time I used to listen to all the Harry Potters, and now I have them on DVD. But I listen to all of them on book, and I think the books explain a lot more than you know they go into depth. Than uh, they're like a real book. They right. More depth. Right. Than, uh, the CDs do. I mean the book, the DVDs do. Sure. Sure, absolutely. So you're a Harry Potter guy. Oh well, yeah, I like it, but I was always in the Slytherin house. So <laughs> you're you're oh you're Team Slytherin. Yeah. Well, that's Team Aleaf. Do you remember the Aleaf house? Uh. -uh. You no, know? we're Team Sugarland. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come to Aleaf Town. Don't try that shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I always say I've told my theater teacher I like the dark arts, so <laughs> I like you know horror movies. I like horror movies. If I could, I'd drive a Hearst if I could. As a job? No, as a, my own personal vehicle, a Hearst. Oh you shit! Have ever seen that? There's Hearst around Denver. There's like a car club in Denver that they do Jurassic Park cars, they do Ghostbuster car, Batmobile car, and they do a Hearst. So they do all these different cars and they get together. Wow! So they uh. They're like a car club, is what they are. So you would drive a Hearst, like a funeral car. Exactly. Wow. I love those kind. Of, I like the 1957 Hearst. Yeah, the 19. 1954. Does only one company make it or do multiple? Uh, there was different ones and the Hearst's today I don't like them. I only like the old school Hearst body styles. And I like the uh, 57 and the 1975, 74. Wow. And I put a skeleton in the side of it so it looks like my passenger. <laughs> well it's good for you to like actual bodies from you know 1975 and not, I don't know, 28, tw yeah. 2010 or if something. You know, from 2023 it wouldn't look as cool. Too. Yeah well that's not the type of bodies I meant but oh, okay. you know. Oh, you mean human bodies? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, you know. No, so, I was like, if anybody died, they could use my car if they needed it. <laughs> what, do you, do you have a nice car at least? Um, I just have a Nissan Pathfinder. Okay. Well, we're on, you're going to find the path that we've got to, that's what we're here for. That's yeah. what we're here for. Absolutely. I'm glad I met you guys. I'm glad we met you too, God's, Paul. Uh, what do you call it? Purpose to get us in touch. I, I think it was God's purpose to get us in touch. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that's crazy. So, this one to you? yeah. This one to you? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. All right, so I'm yep. excited. I hope I get to work with you guys soon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, we, we, we definitely like workers. Um, you know, and I have a preference for just, you know, kind of getting off the curb. So, I mean, you just kind of fit in with, with those two right there. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> My dad was nice. He spoke Spanish, but he never taught me. Oh, you know, the generation gap, they didn't want us to know Spanish. They wanted it to be very much English. Yeah. And uh, the second generation, my cousins, they know Spanish. So it's like they know it, but I don't. Right. Uh, You're I, Americanized. Yeah, I know some of it. I always say, poquito hablas español. I'm learning, so if I learn more and more, I can speak it more and more and hopefully learn it. Are you like half Jewish by chance? Uh, no, I'm uh, Catholic. Well, is, is, your mo is your mom white or Mexican? Uh, my mom is Hispanic and uh, my dad was Hispanic, so yeah. And uh, so, but yeah, my mom was pretty more lighter than my dad, but I'm about the same shade, so I'm not that dark, so. So, uh, I mean, have you ever met your dad? One time I met him, and I think I was like seven. Uh -huh. And uh, my fondest memories, we look alike, we have the same nose and everything, but um, I don't have too many memories of my dad. So he married a Russian woman that came to, from Russia to here. She had a son. Mm -hmm. Instead of raising me, his real son, his biological son, he raised somebody else's kid. That sucks. 
Do you have any uh do you have any sisters, brothers? Nope, only child. So when my mom passes, I'll be all on my own in this world except for God, but I'll be on my own. Are you religious at all? I try to be. <laughs> I mean I take, you know, the host, I do the host and I What's the host? The host is the bread of the body of God Christ. So oh, so you go to church and stuff? No, not really, but I'll try. <laughs> I'll try. I just know what it is. I've been confirmed. That means you're anointed, you get the sign of the cross on the thumb and you get anointed by a father. Right. So mm -hmm. That's good. I used to go to Notre Dame Catholic Church here in Denver. Okay. Is your mom pretty religious? Uh, I try to keep her. She doesn't want to be too religious. She doesn't want to go every Sunday. And I said, but mom, they can bring you the Eucharist to you and you could receive the body of Christ at home. And oh. Father will do that for you. So Jesus door dashes now pretty Jesus, much. Jesus door okay. Dashes, yeah. okay. I had the house blessed not too long ago and uh, he actually came and did the holy water on the house and said all evil keep out, all spirits keep in good. He blessed our house. He blessed me, which I always could use anointing. So if you ever need it, I'll get some holy water and bless you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> got it. Got it. Um, wow. Well, you know, I really think you are changed mad. I, I really believe you can be. Um, yeah. I think this opened my eyes. You know, yeah. Definitely opened my eyes. Right. And I'm not going to do this shit again. <laughs> sure. Sure. So, um, so what, 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 what do you usually do for fun? For fun, like when I go out with Bill, I just try to do like we're gonna try to see the Haunted Mansion next. So uh, is that a real thing? That's the Haunted Mansion is a ride at Disneyland, oh. Disney World, but they are doing all the movies. So you know Disney likes to make all the movies. So yeah, yeah, they're doing movies. So got it. I wasn't sure if that truck was with you or not. no. What do you do during the weekends? The weekends, um, I watch a lot of YouTube movies. So I watch my, I have a bunch of stuff on my YouTube channel, and I try to get caught up watching them. So, uh, yeah, you, don't go, do. you don't go out like. I don't go clubbing, I don't go bars, I don't do... Um, I did like when they first legalized it here in Colorado, I did it. When they first legalized it? Oh uh, geez, probably like 2015 or something. Okay, okay. And But I do CBD, you know, I do the gummies, yeah. CBD gummies, those help me sleep. Because I just have a lot of anxiety at night. Sure. And I just get it, it just helps me calm me down and sleep. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, I mean, do you, do you have like any sleep issues or anything? Or? No, I don't have sleep apnea, so I don't have to sleep with a CPAP, thank God, but <laughs> I have an uncle that sleeps with that. Sounds like it sucks. Got it. Um, there is a cop coming, huh? No, do you have to get arrested? Dude, it's probably the library. I, I got you. It's probably the librarians calling oh, them because of instruction. No. Yeah. I mean, how, how would we have called him? So. How's it going? Hey, I'm about to get him to incriminate himself in front of you guys. All right, well, we're just having a conversation here yeah. with Paul. Um, this is, and he's changing. This is your last time meeting an 11 year old, yes. right? Okay. And you're not going to want to have with them again? No. Okay. And you're going to. I told you guys that my uncle is a Denver police detective. Right. And uh, so I know right and wrong. And you're going to delete the child off your telegram, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how many do you think you got to get rid of that we can. I don't know, just the whole telegram thing. Okay. But there's stuff on there we got to delete, right? Yeah, there's okay. stuff on there I want to delete. I just want to be a better person. Okay. I'm not a bad guy. I mean, I'm really good. I would never make it in jail. I would probably get in jail. So. Okay. And do you think you're going to give them the name of the guy sending you child from Australia? Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Whatever names they need, I'll give them to them. And this was like recently he sent that, right? Yeah, recently. Okay. Okay. So I would love to work with you guys. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And what was your name, boss? My name is Paul. Paul? Yeah. Why don't you and I go over here by All my right. car and have a chat? Yeah, I'll talk to them. Great. Awesome. All right. So, what's going on? So we we pose as minors online, um, okay. and we uh, were posing as an 11 year old. And Paul came to message who he thought would be this 11 year old kid here at the library. He chose the kids section. We got him out of there as quick as possible, and um, you know we just took him over here and we told him it's voluntary to talk to us. And he confessed to wanting to have sex with this 11 year old, and he admitted to receiving child as young as infants and trading child. And um, all on his tell like he said in front of you guys it's on his telegram account and um i think there's more than enough probable cause of what he just said to arrest him yeah absolutely okay um what uh website are you guys using you said telegram uh no or so we only talked to him on facebook and a fake phone number but he has a telegram and gotcha. yeah okay and then he reached out to you correct initially correct yeah we have that right here we have a Hello, beautiful. My name is Paul July 9th, and we say I'm 11 years old. Um, and, and he, I mean, he knew we were 11 too. He said it on camera, and we told him it was voluntary to talk to us, all that shit. So, okay. I mean, this is perfect. Yeah. Is great evidence. Okay. All right. And then what is your name? Alex Rosen, A L E X. 
And then last name is R O S E N. And then here, you know, I want to kiss your pussy on your blah, blah, blah. Perfect. Okay. Um, what is your birthday? March 15th, 2000. And uh, is it coming number for you? Um, I about to say it for Okay, and then you said he was in the kids section? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so you saw him come in, he just went straight there and we just pulled him out. Alright guys, if you like what happened there, I mean this guy is into infants, just a very evil, evil person. Um, then go join locals, okay? Look, we're in Colorado, this is our 18th catch of this trip. We were all the way in Huntsville, Alabama to Colorado. Now we're going to go up to Oregon, 20 hours, okay? $7 a month in the pinned comment, or if you're on Rumble, press that red join button. You get to see, you can see this catch early, you get to see over 21 catches early and uncensored. And you get to see every other live catch, so for example, this catch was live on locals. So, for a very cheap price, you can help the team that travels the most and catch the sickest. And yeah, I mean, we, we target people with this type of stuff. I mean, we, we, don't, we don't mess around and just get quick ones. We, we, we want to get the worst of the worst, and we can only do that if people join locals. I mean, truly, seven bucks a month, I mean, we can do, we can do a lot with a little. So, um, you know, do your part, because, you know, a, a football team, a successful football, football team involves a quarterback all the way down to the water boy and the janitor. So, everybody play a part in it. Press, join locals great value you get a lot and you get to be part of the movement so pin comment or red join button really appreciate it leave a like